Hey guys, Jim back with, uh, with a video. Um, this is going to be my yard sale pickups today, all the stuff I got at the yard sales. Thing I'm going to do. So um, we're going to get into that and I'll show you what I got. Um, I got a fair amount of stack of stuff, mostly just DVDs except for one Blu-ray, but all DVDs, which I got mostly from my neighbor. Um, he uh, gave me a bunch of DVDs for free when his yard sale was one, but I bought a bunch from him as well for 50 cents and he bought me a, gave me a bunch that was left over that didn't sell at the yard sale, so... Since I bought a lot off him earlier in the daytime, he gave me a bunch of free ones too. So we're going to get into that and I'm going to show you that with my hound dog. Missy's sleeping here beside me. He's just laying there sleeping. Let's get into this, guys. So the first one I got is Signs with Mel Gibson. Um, I think it's got, yeah, Mel Gibson in it. And um, uh, that one Calkin kid's in it, Macaulay Calkin's younger brother, not Kerwin Calkin, but the other one, he wasn't in, wasn't in Home Alone. I think it's Rory Calkin, I think, is in this one. Rory, I think it's Rory Calkin that's in the signs. And there you got, um, uh, what's his name, uh, um, John Quinn Phoenix as well, is in this one. So I haven't seen that movie in a really long time, so looking forward to watching that again. Then we got Helly Berry and Gotcha. Which I haven't seen in a long time. Well, most of these I haven't seen, like I said, in a while, but. Which I'm looking forward to checking out again. So, yeah. Next up, I got the Sharon Stone movie. Um, this one I don't think I've ever uh, seen before but it's got her and Kathy Bates in it I guess it's about them killing this guy or something I don't think I've ever seen this movie before but um I'm looking forward to checking it out next I got this Michael King film the Holocraft comment I have never haven't seen this one before too but I've seen it and I had Michael King in it so I definitely wanted to check it out it's kind of like a spy movie so that might be something I might want to check out and watch like I said, these were all 50 cents, so they're a really good deal. And then as they bought more, he charged me two for a dollar, which was actually a better deal, but they started as 50 cents, and they got two for a buck, so. And then they got SWAT Team here on, D on DVD. Good movie. I think I've seen SWAT Team before. This one's called The Day After, which is an apocalypse movie, which I haven't seen in a very long time. Come came out in 83, and it's got a really good cast, like Jason Robards is in it, Joe Beth Williams, Steve Gutenberg, John Lithgow. Definitely looking forward to watching that one. It takes place during the uh, Cold War with uh, the Soviet Union. Came out in 83 the day after. Next up is a documentary. Um, this is one of the ones that was given to me for free when the day was over. Tell them who you are. Which talks about um, the father and the son. Um, Rekindling the relationship and that. I heard it's a really good document. I've never seen it before, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. I don't know much about it, so I can't really say much about it. Looking forward to checking it out. Next, we got Chicago. DVD. Got Crashed, who just set, which comes with the regular movie and then all the bonus features. That's a really good cast, good movie. Crash, I haven't seen it in a while. Looking forward to watching it again. I've also seen the James Spader version of Crash, too, which is out of print and rare to get on DVD. It's kind of pricey online with him and Holly Hunter. It's got a lot of sex in that one. I know it's like a real like sexy movie. Like it's got a lot of sex in it. I know that, but I haven't seen that one in a long, long time. Crash, I think I seen it years ago on um, Showcase Without Borders when it was on Showcase TV. The Canadian Showcase, when they used to have the Showcase Without Borders. I remember seeing that years ago with James Spader. That, that was a weird one, that Crash version. But this is the one that's a really common one to find. This is the one that you can find everywhere it crashes. It's not the rare Jimmy Spader version. Next, I got the two first two seasons of um, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, finally on DVD. So now I got seasons one, two, three, and I think seven on DVD. So I just got to finish getting the rest of the series. But yeah, I seen that at the air itself, so I grabbed it. Next, we got Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. This is like the old, old, old one, like when DVDs first came out. This was released in like 1997, it says in the back. This is like when DVDs first came out. That was like probably one of the first DVDs they ever released. Rumble in the Bronx in the old snapper case. Next, the same thing, Richard. This is another one with Denzel Washington, which is, I think, a really, really old release. that came out like way back in the early days of DVDs with him and John Lithgow and Ace T.
Next, we got The Vanishing with um, Keith or Sarlin, and I believe um, uh, Jeff Bridges, yeah, and Sandra Bullock, where she goes missing. That one came way back in the early 90s, one of Sandra Bullock's earliest roles. Then this one goes through my session. I had never seen this Robert De Niro film, but I grabbed it. I'm looking forward to checking it out. It came out, it said, in 1990, the same year he did... Um, he did uh, Goodfellas. It came, I, mean, I think he did it right after Goodfellas, but I'm not sure it was before Goodfellas. I'm not sure which one, but it came out in 1990 and all that, and i never seen it before, so I wanted to check it out. Then I got 9 to 5. Unfortunately, this is the full screen version, but if I really do like this film, I haven't seen this movie in a really long time, but if I like it and watch it with Dolly Parton and Lily Tomlin, I'm going to upgrade it to the widescreen version. But i got to watch this first and see if I remember how much I liked it or not. But yeah, Debbie Coleman plays her boss. Who I also liked him in War Games is also in this film. So along with the Gene Fonda, so I definitely got to watch that one again. Next, I got the two disc version of uh, Da Vinci Code with Tom Hanks. Picked this up at the yard sale. Next, this this one's still sealed. Working Girl uh, with Harrison Ford and Melanie Griffith as the Gwyneth Weaver. This one looks like a good watch. I haven't seen that. I don't think I've ever seen this movie. I've heard of Worker Girl, but I can't remember if I've ever seen it before. It's still sealed up, factory sealed. Next one I was really happy to find. This is a fantastic film, The Great Escape, even though I am going to get this on Blu-ray soon. I'm a big Steve McQueen fan. I've always wanted to get this one with him, The big, the Great Escape. So now I can finally sit and watch it. I know it's not the Blu-ray, but at least I got the DVD for now. It's also got James Garner. You know, um, Charles Bronson, Donald Pleasant, James Coburn, good cast. I can't wait to get around and watch that one. Still sealed. It's got that 20... Uh, four minute documentary about the film. So I'm looking forward to watching that. I will link this it up great to the Blu ray eventually, but for now, I'm looking forward to watching that. And then I got the, uh, the uh, Comedy Central Roasted Dennis Leary Uncensored. These are really fun. These Comedy Central uh, Comedy Roasted. A couple other ones of these ones I want to get. I want to get the Bob Saget one. And the David Hasselhoff one, which I think has Hulk Hogan roasted them on the David Hasselhoff one. I got to eventually pick those two up. But I was really happy to come across the Dennis Leary one because I don't usually find the Call Me Central Roast around here too often. So I was really happy to find that today. You know, so that'd be a cool watch. And the next I got for a few dollars more. This is part of the trilogy with name with no name, Clint Eastwood. Which I'm going to eventually upgrade these to Blu-rays down the road in time. Get them on Blu-ray. The Blu-ray collection because now I got, a, uh, I got a, few, a few dollars more. A fistful of dollars. And of course, good and the bad and I own on both DVD. Special edition DVD box. And I have it also on Blu-ray. And I'm going to be soon getting the 50th anniversary of uh, The Good and the Bad that released by Kino, which came out, I think, was it last month or was it the month before it came out by Kino? At least the 50th anniversary, which I definitely want to pick up for my collection. And then eventually, like I said, I'm going to buy the Man With No Name trilogy on Blu-ray, but for now at least I can watch the DVDs. That he is next. Uh, good cat. We've got Billy Bob Thornton, Morgan Freeman, Holly Hunter, Kristen Dunst. Looking forward to checking this one out. Next, we got the championship season. This has um, Vincent D'Onofrio, you know, Tony Shalhoub, you know, the one that played on The Monk. Gary Sinise and Paul Sorvano, really interested in that. This one really interested because of the cast that was in it. So you definitely want to check that one out. The, Paul Sorvino did the, um, there was a championship uh, season called the one that came out in 78, I think, that had him in it. This was the, the newer one that they remade in 99. But there was also a 78 version with him in it. And I think Martin Sheen was in that one, and a couple other people I can't remember. I think Robert Mitchum was in that one, too, which I definitely want to pick up on DVD. But this was the 1999 version. So i got to get around to getting that Constant Gardener. This one here um, has Rachel Wise in it. Well, I like Rachel Wise. I've never, uh, I don't think I've seen this film, but I definitely want to check it out. Um, I'll definitely watch that. This one here it was interesting because George Clooney was it says good night and it's supposed to take place in the fifties. The Corn Cycles, the early days of broadcast journalism in nineteen fifties America. So that really interests me being it takes place in the fifties of the fifties decade. So I definitely want to check that movie out. I bet you it's something I'm gonna love probably, so I definitely had to grab that. And then the last one on DVD, the Prejudice, which has uh Hugh Jackman, Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Scarlett Johansson, and David Bowie. Never seen this one before, but I wanted to check it out. Comes with a slip cover. Um, special features on the back. And then the only Blu ray I picked up, guys, for 50 cents, couldn't pass this up, even though I already own this on Blu ray. Because I bought it at the Walmart Bargain Bin a, while of, uh, a few year, a couple years back at the Walmart Bargain Bin. I think it was on Boxing Day after Christmas, I picked it up. One of the years. 
but I couldn't pass it up at the arts for 50 cents. So I got another copy of Enter the Dragon on Blu-ray with Bruce Lee. Couldn't pass that up for 50 cents. It doesn't hurt to have a backup copy. So I ended up picking that up. And it's got all the bonus features on the back on Blu-ray. And then here's two I got for a friend that she wanted. I was really going to keep these for me, but I, she, I looked for them. I asked if she could have them, so I said I'd give them to her. They were, she was looking for them from the yard sale. For the boys with Bette Miller and James Kahn. These are the go this is going to go to my friend. I'm not keeping these ones in Steel Magnolia Special Edition. So that's going to go to her. She's going to pick them up this week. So yeah. So anyways, guys, that's all the movies I picked up at the yard sale. Say no DVDs today. There was no DVDs I wanted. There was DVDs, but nothing I wanted. So I just picked up a bunch of DVDs and one Blu-ray. Um, because I went yard sale home today, and she picked up a bunch of DVDs for herself too that she wanted. Picked up a few DVDs like Along Came Polly, I think she got, and um, what other ones did she get? A whole bunch of other different ones. I think she got Silence of the Lamb and some other movies. I forget all the ones that she picked up, but yeah, she got a bunch of movies too. So, and this is all the stuff I got. So yeah. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video. I don't want it to go too much longer. It's already went longer than I really wanted it to. 11 minutes. I'm going to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, my pickups today from the yard sales would probably be my last weekend for yard sales for the year because we're officially now we're in like fall, fall. The cool weather is really cool. Now, I don't think there's going to be any more yard sales. I don't think this was the last weekend. But at least they went out with a great hurrah. Big, went out with a great, with a bang with getting all these DVDs. So I know I said that my last week, that was probably going to be my last weekend, but this one probably will be my last weekend. There probably won't be no more yard sales after this weekend because now, like I said, we're in fall now. So I don't see there being any more yard sales next Saturday. So this is probably going to be my last week until next spring. Probably. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you in my next video, which I have when I have some, like, unbubblings coming in the mail. I'll wait till I get a few items in the mail, and then I'll unbubble them for you when I get them. But I'll wait till I get a few things first before I do an unbubbling. So anyways, guys, until, that, until that, then, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say goodbye, Messi. Say goodbye, Messi.